Okay. Here's an example of a free OPV cell that I want to image with this LP technique in this uh, apparatus here. It has some 16 stripes, and I want to see if they all work and if there are any large defects on it. So the way that we do is that we connect this uh, type here, direct uh, electrical contacts and this measurement here to the uh, two terminals of the solar cell. Inside this chamber, uh, we have the setup with the laser on top here, which scans rapidly in this X direction here. And when we then start the experiment, there will also be a uh, slow movement in this direction to get a raster uh, of the whole solar cell. So now it's inside the, the LPIC instrumentation here, and we close it down. And we try to uh, adjust parameters for the uh, solar cell here. And here is what a, a scan along uh, one X scan looks like. Here. And you can immediately see um, that we image the solar cell here. We will then make a fast uh, scan to see where we have uh, put the solar cell in the apparatus. And you can see how fast um, this LBIC technique actually can be here. So now uh, the 16 stripes of uh, the solar cell appears in the image and we can clearly see where in um, this space here which can be 25 by 25 centimeters where it's positioned. We can then uh, make a higher quality image um, of the solar cell uh, by taking a smaller portion here and then do a, a slower, uh, more detailed uh, scan. This of course takes uh, a bit longer time, perhaps a, a few minutes here. The scan will uh, start just shortly here. So at first we are in an area where there's no solar cell, so it's basically a blue background uh, that we see here. Now we enter uh, the solar cell and you can begin to see uh, the stripes, the 16 individual so solar cells in the module uh, that we have here. So now we simply wait until uh, the image is finished. We can then enlarge it uh, and begin to see smaller details. For instance, where there are defects or count the number of uh, stripes that we can see here. But remember that uh, in a standard Elbic uh, technique, this would take at least seven hours to do. So now the Elbic image is finished, the scan is finished, and we can then enlarge the, the image to see the details in it. Um, and you can immediately see, uh, here we have the whole cell, or the whole device of all 16 cells, and you can immediately see that we have some very large uh, point-like or uh, bubble-like uh, defects at different positions here which shows that something unpleasant has happened to this uh, device here. We can zoom in uh, even closer on, on these details to see um, even smaller parts here, for instance. The uh, width of the solar cell is about 2.5 uh, millimeters times uh, 8 centimeters. So we can see uh, quite small details in the solar cell.